Come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. I'm going to Louisiana, my true love for you. Rained all night, but the day I left, the weather it was dry. Sun so hot, I froze to death. Susanna, don't you cry. I'm Alabama with my banjo on my knee. The bull giant bucks, the horse ran off. I really thought, oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. I'm Alabama with banjo. Somebody's coming. It looks like they're on rebound. I'll be ready in a minute. We come over, that is, we were worried about, uh, well, I mean, oh, doggone it. I found another hundred dollars in an old sock, and I'm willing to bet it on Luke here if you can cover it. You're darn tootin' I can cover it. Right pronto, too. Uh, you stay here. I'll get it. Come on, fellas. I'm just making another bet. And I'll cover as much more money as you can raise, Jim Bond. We're just heading for the tavern to place our bets for the rest of the state money. Mind taking mine, too? Why not? And, uh... When you lose and I win, and you have to mortgage your place, you know where to come. If Bob can't beat your man, you can have the ranch, and Bob along with it. <laughs> you better get a good rest tonight, Luke. You're sure gonna need it tomorrow. Hmm. The only rest you'll get will be on the ground, after those Bronx get through with you. Bragger, I hope you get the licking of your life tomorrow. You're so pretty, I hate to disappoint you. Let's hit weather. I want every last one of you back in bed before midnight. Why, we'll be home before that, Aunt Sarah. Won't we? Sure. The last one to the tavern's a big horse thief. the other night to be let in on something good. Well, I've got it. I'm listening. Bob Allen's a two-to-one favorite to win the championship in the rodeo that starts tomorrow. Well, everybody knows that, don't they? Go ahead and spill it. If anything happened to Allen during the show, the holders of the short end money mean up. You mean a rub out? Huh? You mean a killing? I don't want any part of it. I'm on the lamb right now for a little shooting I did in another part of the country. Maybe there are other ways. Hey, look what you're doing. I don't care if it's Billy the Kid. Keep his mop to himself. 
Say, can't this Allen guy be bought? I don't know. But you can try. Sure thing. Everybody's got a price tag with him. There's Allen now. Some of his punchers. They can all be bought. <laughs> Maybe. Here's some more stake money for you, Hawk. Huh? Iron in the barn. Hmm, well, that makes more than $5,000 from your outfit alone. There'll be a lot more than that before tomorrow. They don't play for marbles around here, do they? Sure not. I'll bet there's $20,000 in stake money in that safe right now. Oh. Say, do you think you could get Alan up to my room? Yeah. I'll be waiting for you. Come in. Your name Carson? That's me. I'm Bob Allen. It's no sense you've understood me. What's it all about? Sit down, I'll tell you. I reckon you figure on cleaning up a lot of money at the rodeo tomorrow and the next day. Maybe. Why? Well, I figure how you can make a lot more by not winning. Me and just what? Now, you weren't born yesterday. I don't have to draw you any map, do I? No, you don't. And if you think I'm any part of your crooked game, you're plumb mistaken. Now, there's no reason to get tough about it. There's plenty of reasons. Wait a minute, Ellie. Carson, look me up. I'll have your bill ready in about ten minutes. Uh, what happened? What happened? Why didn't you tell me that guy was an ex pub? He didn't like the deal then? Now, what do you think? Well, now that we got his number, we know how to handle him. What do you mean? You'll find out. Imagine us in a hotel with the beach and some nice soft beds. Oh. You better not be imagining any such thing. There'll be no hotels. We're taking along a couple of tents and camping in a grove of trees just south of town. Now get to bed, all of you. Early start in the morning. Go on. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Hurry up. Oh, call it. And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your rodeo announcer, Abe Lefton. We're now presenting our two-day championship rodeo, starting at this time with your grand entry of between riders and ropers of the world. Riding in this beautiful grand entry are all top fans of the rodeo world, including such champions as Ruth Williams, the Circle B Ranch, and last year's champion, Bob Allen of the Bar A Ranch. And here they come down the arena mounted on their beautiful horses, led by the official cowboy band. Thank <laughs> you. 
Judge Tommy Sutton. Next, and at this time, introducing Bob Allen, last year's champion cowboy of the Bar A Draft. Here he is. And the first event on this afternoon's program will be an exhibition and contest of trick and fancy riding and roping. Coming down the track now, trick rider Junior Eskew. Followed next in line by champion trick rider Dick Griffith. an exhibition of trick and fancy roping by trick roper Paul St. Croix. He, of course, assisted by our famous cowboy clown, Homer Hokum. And here comes Paul St. Croix down the track doing a beautiful tail drag on his horse. Watch Dick Griffin next in line doing a shoulder stand from the ground and finishing to the saddle. And here's another exhibition of trick roping by Junior Eskew. Beautiful horse catch that time by Paul St. Croix. Now watch this horse catch from a stand on the saddle. There it is. Beautiful catch by Junior Eskew. Wait a minute, and there goes that perfect three-point landing. Wish you a lot of luck, Luke. I got my last cent on you, and you can't lose. I don't aim to. Say, what have you been up to? Nothing. I'd just like to see you win, that's all. Thanks. Well, I gotta get ready. And here they come in the next event. Watch it, one of the feature events of the day, the Steered Team Roping Contest. And there's your first team coming from the rope and shoot. It's Chick Cannon and Fox O'Callaghan. Ah, uh, they ride out there, toss the rope out. The other man catches the steer by the heels. There's the flag. And here comes your next team. Joe Horn and Mel Morris take the next year out. There's another toss of a loop and a beautiful catch by those two cow hands. Now, ladies and gentlemen, watch your next team out. Here they are, Luke Williams teamed up with Joe Ryan. Down the track they ride, rope and tie, and there it is. Now listen to the time. Luke Williams and Joe Ryan tied their steer down in 15 and two-fifths seconds. Very nice work. Yeah, pretty good. What do you mean? You know Luke's one of the top hands around here. Well, it's about time for me. I'll see you later. Good luck. Ah, but here's another team coming out of the shoot at this time. Watch these two boys go to town. Can't seem to get the name of these two whoopers going out, but watch them. Looks like they're going to make some fast time. And now here it comes. Look out. Last year's champion, Bob Allen, and his teammate, Al Evans. Looks like they're making some mighty fast time. Son of boy! Bob Allen and Al Evans rope their steer. Fifteen and one fifth seconds. <laughs> because of the keen rivalry between the Bar A and the Circle B outfits, separate scores will be kept for them. Bob Allen of the Bar A has just set a new record for steer team roping. How do you like that, Jim? He was lucky that time. We'll make up those points. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, watch the shoots. We're getting ready for one of the feature events of the afternoon. It's the Wild Brainless Steer Riding Contest and Comedy Bullfighting. And during this event, watch that great senior bullfighter from Mexico City. And that's him with a cape, and I'd like you to meet the great senior flop on the floor. Yeah, man, get going, Homer. Here comes another one out, and this one's got plenty of action. Now look out. There he goes. Going for the dummy. Yes, sir, Sacco. He got the wrong dummy that time. Now, folks, keep your eyes on these animals because they don't even like horses. Just look at that one going after that horse now. Yes, and look out, Homer. He's going to take you to the fence. Ah, good old fence, there's another one, and there goes the cape. Now, Homer, let's see if you style off that fence and attempt to pick up that cape. And here he comes again, he's just standing there inviting Homer to come down and see him for just about a minute. And now, look, look, look who's coming out. Here he comes, it's Luke Williams on that one. Yes, but Luke got off before the sound of the horn. Yes, sir, here's another cowboy who he's gone. And now keep your eye on the shoot. Look at this one coming out, ladies and gentlemen. It's Bob Fallon riding that frame of gold this time. Right in the buggy, looks like he's qualified drive. How do you figure to get Bob Allen away from the crowd? It's in the bag. The announcer fell for it. Listen, Bob Allen is wanted to report to the stables at once. I do like I tell you, and it's a cinch. Hey, listen, fella. Now I'm giving you your last chance to talk business. You had your last chance last night. The point score so far today stands Luke Williams, 26, Bob Allen, 35. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the next track event will be the roping contest. Be judged for the fastest time in roping and tying three legs of a cow. And here comes your first roper down the track now. Watch him ride rope and tie. It's Jim Brister. Right down that rope, Jim. Let's tie him, boys. Yes, sir. And here's another cap rope. But there goes old Texas Slim going down there. Oh, they're really roping cattle here. Look at that one. Have you seen Bob? Well, go and see. If you can find him, it's near time for him to ride again. All right, here we go. Time marches on, and there goes another one. And there it is, George Wells. <laughs> Down the rope to throw the cap by hand. That's what they have to do, and just cross and tie three legs. That one's in the bag. The knows that a small boy gave him a note saying that Bob was wanted at the barn. Is it true that uh, Bob got cold feet and ran out on me? You can't get away with that. I wouldn't put it past you to hide him out. If I'd have thought of it, I might have. But I didn't. 
I was just talking to the judges. They wanted to disqualify Bob right off, but they'll give him a chance to show up. I suppose you fixed that. Well, suppose I did. I'll say, get him on your own business. What, you? Come on before I lose my temper. You take one of the horses, beat it back to the rodeo grounds, and keep your eyes open. Oh, Mr. Bond. It ain't any fun in there now with Bob gone. Well, that's all nonsense. Now, you've got to get back in there tomorrow and win. We want you to win. Don't we, Betty? Yes, but we want him to win fair. Well, if you think I've done anything to Bob... No, I know you didn't, Luke. Everything's all right, Luke. Now, come on. We've got to go and get a good night's rest. Well, boys, let's get to camp and figure what can be done. Not to lose, Bob, without your singing about it. The sheriff said to tell you he's out searching for Bob. Hmm. A lot of good that'll do. The sheriff ain't found his own watch yet that he lost a month ago. What do you want? Well, seeing things as they are, we thought maybe you'd like to call off the bet. What's the matter? Afraid you'll lose? We thought with Bob not here, you... We haven't lost yet, and you haven't won. If either or both of them things happen, I'm not going to you for help. All right, have it your own way. I'll leave you to fry in your own meanness. Just so long as you leave, it's all right with me. You boys better get out and look around again. They'll ride down to the tavern where Bob had his fight last night. Maybe we can find something there. Sure. Maybe even a drink. Yeah. 
heart Rose will reap from the old folks at home All the world and sad and dreary everywhere I roam Oh, dark is how my heart Rose will reap for you is that folks think I had something to do with Bob's disappearance. It'll be worse if I go on with the contest. But you've got to, Luke. It ain't your fault about Bob. Please, for the ranch, for all of us. Well, you can't let us down now. Well, all right. Here comes our first buck and horse rider. One of the top-notch cowboys of the Rodale game also, Kid Fletcher, coming out of shoot number three on the old gray mare. Oh, and here comes another one out of shoot number five. Yes, sir, watch him go. There he is. He's down. He's up again. Boy, still in the buggy. I'm still staying there. Got a hold of the horn, but that's okay. What did you find out? It's all over now. Number two, Coyote Bill on that non-stop horse. Watch him now. There goes another bucking horse rider. It's a top boy, Floyd Stilling. He's got a good horse on him called Steamboat. Now hurry back. I can't wait to get my hands on that dough. When I get through checking, there'll be no mistake. Well, don't be too long. They're liable to call all bets off. They can't do that. There'd be a riot. You keep the car under cover and keep your eyes open. Don't worry. Look over there now. Here comes Jackie Cooper out of shoot number seven. On a horse to watch called Jitterbug, and boy, oh, he's living up to that name. One out of shoot number eight. You've got to watch this one. Yes, sir. Chet McCarty on Running Sam. The idea. We're going to take a little ride. Meet a couple of friends of mine.
I'll shoot seven, that George Coonan on that empty saddle horse. Yes, sir, empty saddle was a good name for him. The cowboy's gone. I'll shoot number five. There's one rolling on the boys down. He's up again. Look out. And nobody hurt. Fine. Looks like he turned out to be a racehorse. One that just come out of the chute at the perfect landing over there, right by the fence. Another one out of chute number four. Look up. Wait a minute. Look out. Look who it is. Here's Luke Williams, one of the leaders in the championship contest. Bob Allen. Yes, sir, Luke Williams, ladies and gentlemen. He's taking a bow, but I may not help him. Let's wait until the other top boy comes out on this unrideable bucking horse in order to decide the champion of this year. Luke's almost tied Bob's score now. I watch this cowboy leap from that fast running horse and place the spear down to the proper fall of the concert when the steer's on his side with its four feet straight out. And here's another stout boy coming down the dog of steer. Ninth Van Meter, the bulldogger. And here's one now. Look up. Wait a minute, Homer. Let go of the getaway from that steer's tail. Wait a minute. You'll end up somewhere in the rumble. There's one of the top bulldoggers in the Rodeo world. A mighty stout boy to put that one down. That was Gene Ross. Well... I guess we might as well be going. I don't, just a minute. Wait a minute. Judges, look here. I believe, there it is. It's Bob Allen coming in. Where have you been? No time to explain now. Tell the judges I'm back and ready. There's one of the top bulldoggers in the Rodale world, Gene Ross. Nice work, Gene. Yes, sir. That one down. Bob, are you all right? Sure. The only thing I'm worried about is being disqualified. Everything has been taken care of. I just came from the judges stand and they said for you to go right ahead. Great. And here's another fast boy getting on one night now, and there he goes down to the count at Jay There goes Luke now. Now, there he goes. Watch this. Look out. Here comes one. The jump. Luke Williams on that one. Down. There's that Homer again, always getting in the mischief. contest here today. I guess we're all really out to where the pavement ends and the West begins. <laughs> Let's keep our eyes on this one now, and here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Watch him. Ready for the jump. Last year's champion, Bob Allen. Luke Williams' time by one-fifth of a second. This 
next horse is supposed to be a killer. You'd better watch your step. I will. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get ready for the grand finals in the buck and horse contest between two top bronc riders who will fight it out on the Henri Outlaw bucking horse. The horse has never been ridden by any cowboy in any rodeo. So let's watch now. We'll be ready in a few seconds with our grand finals. Luke Williams and Bob Allen to try their luck on that famous outlaw bucking horse, Dynamite. And first to come out of the chute will be Luke Williams. Wait a minute. Just a little too much horse in that dynamite for Luke. Hot Elm, get away. Did you fall asleep or what? Never mind that. Let's get out of here. Where are we going? We'll take the car and go and get that stake money. I ain't going in no car. We'll be spotted. Then stay here. Horses are safer, I tell you. Oh, shut up and let's go get that dough. comes, ladies and gentlemen, the last ride of the afternoon, and it's Bob Allen on Dynamite. champion of the contest is none other than Bob Allen. We won! Well, he won and won fairly. He took that stake money! Well done, Bob! <laughs> Great job, Bob. Shake, Bob. You won fair and square. Yeah, in spite of you and your hired help. Well, what do you mean? You know what I mean. How much did you pay fans and that thug to keep me away from this show? Well, I swear, Bob, if I don't know what you're talking about. If fans done anything like you say, I don't know anything about it. Are you telling the truth? You bet. I believe you, Luke, and I'm asking your pardon. Right up to the tavern with us while we collect the stake money, and I'll tell you what happened. Sure. Why don't you go after them coyotes that misused you, Bob? They're plumb out of the country by now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever see that fans again, I'll... Well, you ought to know better than to hire a snake in the first place. Well, what are you two standing here for? Go on, get about to work. Bob Allen has just been crowned Rodeo King for the second year in succession. The write-off was made on dynamite, and Bob Allen is the only man who ever stayed the limit on that bucking sun-fishing bundle of steel springs.
was sent over to collect the state money. What do you mean? Our man won. Oh, I know. Bobby Allen won. You heard it. Kick in. Oh. Get away from that. Let's get out of here. Somebody's coming. There's some horses. I think I know those fellows. Something's wrong here. Wait a minute, boys. What happened, Hawk? Trigger, Sam, got the stake money. They got away with the stake money. Hawks is hurt bad. Take care of him, boys.
They didn't get away with a thing, Luke. I found all the money on him. How's Hawk? Oh, he'll live. Say, did you ever hear of a bartender dying from a knock on the head? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take this umber in. You won the other day. I didn't have a chance to tell you before. I suppose you've come over to make a loan. If I wanted a loan, this would be the last place I'd come to get it. Listen, Jim. I know that you staked all that you've got on that show. And I've no intentions of keeping that money. Sarah, I never welched in a bet in my life. Well, who said that you did welch? You just said it. I never said no such thing. Why, I... You folks might as well stop arguing, because the money's going to be all in one family. 